morning, everyone. Hope okay, everyone is refreshed after uh, coffee. Okay, so my name is Fintan McGovern, I'm the CEO of Firmwave. Um, delighted to be back here in GMIT, my old alma mater. It's hard to believe it's, I think it's 12 years ago since I was in here as a young Irish Army officer studying business, but it's great to be back here, Ryan, and to get the opportunity to talk about Firmwave. <coughs> so today I'm going to mostly focus on the sensory collecting of data and the accelerating the IoT solution. All right. So if anyone has any questions at the end, feel free to ask them. <coughs> so Firmwave, who we are. Um, Firmwave is founded by myself, Adrian Burns, and Kieran Burns, three cabin men uh, in April last year. Uh, we've grown now to 13 employees. <coughs> and we went for a very experienced team. And I'll talk about why we went for an experienced team. So as a startup, We've gone for top grade industry guys to get them in, and that experience has given us credibility in the market. So why does Firmwave exist? Okay, so when Adrian and myself were talking about the opportunities around IoT, we said, well, where are the opportunities? So hardware and firmware development are difficult in the IoT sector. Going from convention idea through prototype to product, we talk about the value of depth. And I think this slide shows it very well. But the value of death is, is where many IoT projects fail or they don't get across because they don't have correct or sufficient experience. What we can do is we can help companies get from concept to product and to a, to a robust device uh, with our experience. It's estimated that 40% of companies embracing IoT find the far firmware and hardware the most difficult part of getting their product uh, true to commercial viability. So the value of death, I'll talk about it later on. Okay, so where are we located? We're currently located in the Guinness Enterprise Center in Dublin near the storehouse. Um, we picked it, it was just a good location to get going in Dublin. We have a small lab in Bluebell in Dublin. Uh, we have a hot desk in the Rubicon Center in Cork beside the Nimbus Center, who also do some great stuff in IoT down there. Um, we've just opened an office in Gdansk in Poland, by Poland. We found a pool of talent over there, and we decided to move on it quickly and hire those guys. Um, I also want to reference a great company in Limerick called Emutex, who we're partnering up to do some good work together with. Um, and they have some great stuff uh, in IoT and have a very good IoT software platform. So the forecasts, I think everyone here has been talking about the statistics, and there are many statistics. The, the two ones I want to focus on, especially where we are in connectivity, and especially on the edge, which I'll talk about later on, is currently we have the 5 billion connected devices, moving up to 27 billion in 2024. But especially in the area of low power uh, edge devices, sensory <coughs> connection devices, 69% of those will be low power. So you're talking about Wi-Fi, uh, Sigfox, LoRa, Zigbee, all of those. So we're going to focus in on those things. Some other statistics to note, the wearables market, Fitbit, like last year have shipped 4.4 million of these. Apple watches have sold 3.6 million. So there's been a 223% growth in the wearables market last year alone. So you can see where this is progressing to. Smart homes, Google, acquisition of Google Nest was a 3.2 billion acquisition to give them capability in the smart homes area. And Samsung acquired smart things for 200 million. So the big guys are starting to move into this. If they don't have it in-house, they're acquiring. So they're getting their chess pieces ready to move into this. Okay. So Firmwave, what do we do? We're an IoT design solution design company. And the topic of today's talk is accelerating IoT solutions. We can do that through our skillful team of embedded software and hardware engineers. We specialize in designing the ultra low power hardware and firmware, and I'll be showing you a device that we're, we're launching today, uh, later on in the presentation. So when talking about the firmware and the hard parts of, of IoT solutions, we liken it to baking a cake, okay? So the operating systems on the left, we use these as an ingredient. We use the best-in-class microcontroller, which is like Intel's D2000 microcontroller, the ARM embed system, etc. We combine them and we bake it into a cake. And remember, every 
cake or every solution has different ingredients. Uh, a medical device, for example, will differ from a smart home device. Um, an air sensor monitor, which we talked about earlier on this morning, will be different to a motion sensor for a wearable. So you've got to get the right ingredients to mix them together to get the solution. Uh, our target verticals, okay, we've decided that these are the verticals or the building blocks to be part of that recipe to make it successful. Um, so the target, verticals, ver target verticals there such as smart buildings, medical, uh, healthcare, we've already delivered solutions in thus far. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about the healthcare pharma uh, solution that we've worked on. Um, key point in all of these verticals is that they're reusable, okay? In each of the verticals, the learnings that we're getting are reusable. So connectivity, security, device management are all key elements that have to be reused across. Some of the, uh, some of the companies that we've worked with thus far, okay, some big names up there. Um, I'll draw your attention to Health Beacon, uh, a great medical pharma company in Dublin who we're working with presently to help them accelerate their idea through to an IoT solution. Health Beacon, okay. So Health Beacon is a home smart medical adherence device. And what we did with, with these guys is we helped get their device access global cellular connectivity, all right, uh, end to end security, so it's got to be secure, and put in all the device management, protocols and diagnostics. So our team came in and we accelerated that project along from the product through the idea to a uh, product. And I'd like to point out it's now on trial, uh, there's 50 units working globally on trial with this device presently. So I want to talk now about Edge, okay, FirmWave Edge. Basically, this is a device that we have actually manufactured. We reckon it's possibly the smallest gateway in the world presently. It incorporates the new Intel D2000 microcontroller chip. This is the cellular version, and we've done it for six other protocols, Sigfox, Wi-Fi, Zigbee, LoRa, etc. I'll go through them. But this one here has got the Vodafone embedded SIM, and this is basically the learnings that were applied to the uh, Health Beacon device. It's basically a cellular connectivity uh, gateway that's secure, okay? What does this do? It accelerates connectivity of a machine-to-machine -machine SIM, in this case, in under 10 minutes, all right? So it's really fast-forwarding, getting devices connected up to the cloud and secured. Okay. That's FirmWave Edge. <coughs> so Edge connectivity, sorry, just going on the front of it. So I mentioned about the protocols that we're using it on. So we designed it not only for cellular, which I've talked about Vodafone there, uh, LoRa, Zigbee, Sigfox, Thread, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. Um, we're going to roll it out as well for the ARM embed system in Q2 of this year. But right now we're finding the Quark E2000 from Intel is an excellent piece of kit to have embedded on this device. So reliable sensor data collection is key for all verticals. Um, and here are some of the supported sensors. Um, it's quite a, a wordy slide, but we just wanted to throw up the, the vastness of this, that you've got to have these protocols, this built into your device to make it a good sensor. At the end of the day, you want the sensor to be able to collect data and relay it back to the cloud. Okay. Edge Compute is another part of FirmWave Edge. Basically, this allows Real-time applications, sometimes decisions have to be taken on the edge, okay? So edge computer allows you to filter and narrow down the data that you need to take that decision rather than send it back. So that's also an element built into FirmWave Edge. Uh, edge low power display. So a lot of the devices you've seen today, some of them, you know, they're black boxes. They don't need to, be, to have a display. Some devices will have to have a display. So we uh, are able to integrate ideas such as e-paper. So the e-paper, which you'd have seen in your Kindle, which is an extremely low power display solution. It only requires power when it needs to change the display. So it really fits in with the whole low power sensor on the edge. <laughs> idea. 
my final slide, in summary, just to talk about, you know, hardware is hard, but the firmware, the ingredient that makes a device work is even harder. What firmware does in accelerating your IoT solution with Edge or with our team is to get from the hardlands to the necessary prototype to product path to wherever you want to get to is data. You've got to go through all these steps, okay? And all of these steps are built into firmware of Edge and also our team can deliver that. And that's what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis um, in, in Dublin and, and elsewhere. I'm going to be here for today, guys. If anyone has any questions, please come up to me. I'd be delighted to talk to you. Thanks. Thank you.